Hi, I'm Catherine Hathaway, your money lawyer, with hack number one of the Phoenix's five money hacks. Phoenix money hack number one is track your money, every penny. Pull out your credit card and bank statements and the receipts you saved from cash you spent last month. And in the future, don't use cash. It has a tendency to disappear without kissing you goodbye and telling you where it's going. Total these expenditures by category. I've made it easy for you to do with the 50-30-20 budgeting sheet. To get the sheet, just click on the link below or go to bethephoenix.net 50-30-20. Items under the 50% column are needs like shelter, contract payments such as student loans, car payments, car and house insurance. Items under the 30% column are wants, like clothing, cable TV, vacations, ballroom dance lessons, my personal special favorite, getting your hair and nails done, and buying cosmetics. Now, in my mind, these things are needs, but in my spending plan, they are wants. Items under the 20% column are savings, such as life insurance premiums, retirement savings, depositing at least 5% in your savings account, and paying down credit cards in excess of the money that you charged that month. My favorite way of keeping track of these is by using a program from Intuit, Quicken for personal expenses. I use Intuit's QuickBooks for my businesses. I can easily download transactions from my bank and credit cards and then quickly categorize them into categories like 50% need, mortgage, and the 30% want, clothes, or the 20% savings, life insurance. I like Quicken because I can run reports to see how I'm doing with a click on the reports button. Next month when I download them, repeat expenses will be automatically categorized. Another way would be to create an Excel spreadsheet. My banks let me download my statement into different formats, including Quicken, QuickBooks, and Excel. This makes it easier to manipulate the data into different kinds of reports and find out what you're spending. The point is, choose the easiest method for you, but do it. This first exercise of examining last month's expenditures may take a couple of hours, so sit down in your favorite place with your favorite beverage. If you have a spouse or partner, do it together. Talk, laugh, make it fun. You're making friends with your money. Next month, if you find you're out of control, I suggest stop using the credit cards or cash and just run all your expenses through one, ac one account, usually your checking account. Using online payments from your bank account, your debit card, or even writing checks, those old dinosaurs, when necessary. Spending a little time with your money is like spending time with a friend. It pays off. Just like a friend, your money will be there when you need it, when you want to play with it, when you want to celebrate a big win with it. Have a good time.